Hi students, let me introduce myself. I am Rasiya, working at GHSS Kundakao in Malapuram district as HST Biology. My hearty wishes to all of you to the new academic year in advance. All of you know we are all locked in our homes due to the so-called virus COVID-19. So this is the time of social distance. But we are lucky to have a life in this technological era so that our communicative medias are very close to us. Even the world itself lies in our fingertips. Am I right? So we can't wait for more. We shall start our lessons as early as possible. We should face this crisis with self-confidence and at most care. So, shall we start our lessons? This is a step to explore the lessons in biology before you one by one. You can follow the classes and comment or ask doubts if any in the comment box. Before this, that you may please subscribe the channel and Press the bell icon for all options. Then only you will get notifications of the next classes. In biology part 1, we have 4 lessons. Here we have our first lesson, sensations and responses. Shall I remember your famous film dialogue of actor Mamuti here? Sense venam, sensibility venam, sensitivity venam. Didn't you hear that dialogue? What do you mean by the word sense? Yes, it is the awareness about the things around us. That is, to know the world around us. So, in this chapter, we shall study about how do we know the things around us and how can we respond correspondingly. Shall we start? Now, look at the picture in the first page of your textbook. You can see some children and different organisms are here. They are having some experiences. They are actually responding to certain factors in the environment. See, what are they? You can see a girl is tasting mango. She is also enjoying the beauty of nature by seeing with her eyes. So she responds, actually she responds to the taste of the mango and she sees the beauty of nature with her eyes because light is the factor here for her to help the see the things around her. Now then you can see another girl is washing her face and at that time she is experiencing the coolness of water. Here you can see two children are making sounds in the tin to fly away the birds from the fields. Okay, so the birds flew away because of the sound made by the children. So they responded to the sound. Now another boy, a naughty boy, he is doing what? He is touching a snail with, her, with his finger. So what will happen? The snail will withdraw its body into the shell. That is the response of the snail, snail due to the factor touching, touch. Okay. Like that, have you ever touched a touch me not plant? What will happen then? The touch me not plant will droop or shrink its leaves and stem when we expose to touch. Okay. Here you can see a butterfly is having honey from the flower. It is the taste of the honey which will attract the butterfly again and again. Okay. So like this, every organisms, every organism or all living beings on the earth is responding to the factors in their surroundings. Take your notebook and list one by one which are the factors responsible 
for these organisms to respond see tell me one by one here the this girl is responding to the taste the girl is responding to the coolness of water the birds flew away because of sound the snail responded due to touch like that we can see the beauty of this picture because of light if it is dark here we can't see so light is the factor here to respond or here to see or here to experience us so these are the factors around us which make the creatures respond these factors are actually called stimulus or in plural it is called stimuli that means living things always respond to stimuli or stimulus okay these are actually external stimuli what is meant by external stimulus because these stimuli are the factors from our surroundings so they are called external stimuli or external stimulus but see these pictures do we recognize the stimuli from our surroundings only no you can see some stimuli here which are coming from our body or which are formed inside our body what are they see hunger that is he is very hungry for food so hunger is also a stimulus which is coming inside our body or feeling inside our body thirsty thirst for water it is also a stimulus from inside our body he is having suffering very pain severe pain see similarly blood pressure variations may be there at times blood pressure variations it is also a stimulus formed inside our body so such types of stimuli are known as internal stimuli so living creatures respond to the factors inside and outside our body and such factors are called stimulus or stimuli and stimulus may be internal or external now take your notebook and make a table what are internal and external stimuli and give examples for them now say which are the organs responsible for knowing the things around us as all of you know it is our sense organs that are helpful for our body to respond or to know the things around us which are the five sense organs i ear skin nose tongue so this is the picture of our tongue eyes skin nose and ear are the five sense organs which are responsible for knowing the things around us now let us examine how does the body receive stimuli is there any special arrangements in our body or in our sense organs to receive stimuli let us see you can see taste buds are seen in the tongue and these are actually helpful for knowing the taste of food items and this is the picture of our eye you have learned in earlier classes that image is formed inside the eye on the retina so this is the enlarged image of the retina you can see some special types of cells here which are actually responsible for receiving stimuli this is the picture of our skin skin receives many stimuli like cold hot pain touch pressure etc 
so large number of stimuli are received by skin this is the picture of our nose in the nasal cavity you can see special types of cells and these cells are known as olfactory receptors these special types of cells are responsible for receiving the stimulus smell in the ear also special types of cells are arranged in the internal ear which we you will study later and they are responsible for receiving the stimuli sound so in our sense organs special arrangements are there which are that special arrangements there are specially modified cells in the cell sense organs which can receive stimuli and generate suitable impulses or messages such special types of cells are called receptors so what is meant by a receptor receptors are specially modified cells which can receive stimuli and which can generate it as impulses or special messages clear haven't you ever seen a receptionist in a hotel or in an office what's the job of a receptionist here the receptionist is actually helping us how she or he receive us and redirect us in the correct way am i right like that here receptors in the sense organs receive stimulus it may be external stimuli or internal stimuli and receive then it is redirected to the next part of our body receptors can make it as impulses or special messages and then these special impulses or messages are passed to the next part of our body okay so let me conclude we have learned that all living bodies or all living things respond to the stimuli and uh, receptors in sense organs or receptors all over the body receive stimulus and make it as impulses or messages and then pass to the next part of our body finally one more thing how do we respond according to these stimuli see the picture you can see the whole body nervous system what is nervous system suppose if you are stepped in fire or uh, if you if you are stepped on a thorn you may be getting pain and you withdraw your feet suddenly how does it happen now you know there are receptors in our feet and these receptors in the feet receive stimuli and generate impulses or make impulses then how it reaches the brain you know brain controls all our body actions so how does this stimulus reach the brain in the picture you can see from the feet nerves are arising and these nerves are reaching the spinal cord then to the brain so it is very clear that receptors receive stimuli and pass it to nerves through the nerves it reaches spinal cord and then brain so all these four factors work together for performing this function which are the receptors nerves spinal cord and brain and these four organs together constitute our nervous system so in order to respond to the respective stimuli brain spinal cord nerves and receptors work together then only we can control and coordinate all the actions of our body and this organ system is known as nervous system so what is the function of nervous system nervous system controls and coordinates all the functions of our body so let us concluding our portion 
today's portion and in the next class we will study about the basic unit of nervous system the structural and functional unit of nervous system is called a nerve cell or neuron so which will be studied later uh, thank you all have a nice day